Turn your sound off on your phones. Oh, yeah, mine's off. Oh, I hope I do that. Any permission settings? We are live, ladies. Oh, I've got permission settings. So if you want to accept it, go ahead. My phone's way over there. Don't worry about it. People can always watch the live feed later. Okay. Smile, Sherelle. Y'all look cute. Y'all look real cute. You can see it. Don't worry. Y'all look cute. I see my folks from school. I see my people tuning in. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I see all you all turning in, tuning in. Thank you. All right. We're good. have it uh, turned off. No, I'm going to put it in here. I just have to move this the right way. And I'm... What are you wearing, Michael? Thank you, my, my line sister. They're looking at you correctly. Come on, keep going. And I see you, Miss Linda. I know exactly who you are. You're like my second mom. Not when it's live, you can't turn it live. Okay. I would have to end the broadcast and do it over again. No, I, I see you all you I see all of you fine. It's it's fine now if you look now, right? I just need to move this. Alright. Fix it for me, I wanna keep it in. tuning in to Dana Being Dana on intellectualradio.com and iHeart Radio Station. I am your host, Dana Michelle, and I am so excited to welcome my girlfriend here, Angelique, and some of her friends. And we are going to talk about Just for Girlfriends. Just for Girlfriends is here, and they are in the building. You know, sisterhood, women respecting women, that's a point that's very important to me. That's that's a part of Dana being Dana. Absolutely. I have a ton of female friends, ton of girlfriends, and we all believe in respecting each other, supporting each other, and showing up for each other. And so it is my pleasure to show up for my girlfriend, Angelique. Thank you, dear. Shout out to Eddie, Eddie Clopton. Oh, yeah. Who is the one who originally introduced us. I was thinking about that today when I moved out to the western suburbs. He's like, you know, there is a woman another lawyer who you should meet. And her name is Angelique. And he introduced us and we met, we got together, we hit it off and it's been, <clears throat> excuse me, it's been smooth sailing. 
ever since then. Absolutely. And so I'm so excited about what you've been doing as your side hustle. Yes. Because we're going to talk about your main hustle <laughs> first. But I want to talk about your side hustle because that's what has us here today. And it is a movement. It is an organization. It is people who come together, women who come together in support of other women. And I think that is so paramount and so important. So I would like for the panel, go ahead and introduce yourself. Sure. So what, introduce, what do you want to know? Your I'm name? Start. Name. So I'm Angelique David. I am from Cincinnati, Ohio. Came here for law school, Northwestern, and then decided to stay. And I live in Naperville. I am a chief operating officer and general counsel of an investment bank for my day job. And the founder and CEO of Just for Girlfriends for my side gig. So. That's a little bit about me. Fantastic. And we're going to dive all into that in a minute. But before we do, I'd like to introduce the other ladies on the panel. Wendy? I am Wendy. Um, I am born and raised in the Chicago area and uh, reside in Naperville now and one of Angelique's neighbors. Um, I am don't have quite the impressive resume that Angelique has. <laughs> but, but you're awesome. You are awesome <laughs> nonetheless. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> no, see, Wendy, so, she's not telling it all. Wendy is very awesome. Wendy I, she's super is awesome. a former zookeeper. I am How many former zookeeper. Have you been a zookeeper? Yes, yep. And you don't uh, eat those every day on day three. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. And, don't uh, poke the bear. <laughs> we learned that tonight. Yep. And uh, now I have been working in a uh, small business with my family. So, yeah. That's awesome. Well, Wendy, thank you so much for joining us. I'm so happy to have you here. Sherelle. Hello. Yes, Pebs. <laughs> I am Sherelle Fuller. I'm born and raised in Chicago. And my day job is I am a director of strategic alliances for a nonprofit. And I am happy to be on day to be named. Do you also want to tell us your, your fame? I have. I have yes. <laughs> yes. And it's not. Being uh, Pebble's best friend okay. yep. on the sh on the song always, yes. but um, you hold a government office. Yes, so I am um, the first African American on um, elected official on the school board for in downtown. So excited to be a yes. part of that. Which I just think is so fantastic. Oh, I think being able you. to represent, show up uh, as a, as a diverse woman, you are a force. And, and I just appreciate you being here tonight. So oh, thank you so thank much you for so being much. here. Thank you, Michelle. Hi everyone, I'm Michelle Skinner. I am also from Cincinnati, Ohio. I met Angelique at law school. We both graduated from Northwestern. I am a partner at EM3 Law. Been practicing law for quite a while, but just recently um, founded a firm with some of my um, good friends and people that I've worked with for a while. And we've been open for business since um, October of 2017. Thank you. So Angelique, I want to start Sure. About I want to talk about you because okay. we're gonna get we're gonna talk about just for girlfriends and we're gonna talk about why it's so fabulous in, in just a minute. But I first want to start with you. You are a wife. I am. You are a mother and you are a career woman. I am. How long have you been married? A daughter and a whole bunch of other things too. Those hats just keep going. All types of hats. So I've been married eleven years now. And, and how many years. kids do you have? We have two kids. We have two lovely girls, a seven year old and a ten year old. Are they watching right now? Uh, no, they should be in bed. They should be in bed. <laughs> you never know. You never know. You never know. They did ask for the link. I'm sure they did. So my husband and I have an interesting story. He and I were actually high school sweethearts. Oh. Well, that shouts out. out. Shouts out to high school sweethearts. But now we didn't stay high school sweethearts. We broke up. He went to the Navy and I went to college. And we did our own thing. And then one day I was sitting there kind of bored at the law firm. And I got on classmates.com. Remember that old one? Yes. It's kind of like MySpace. That's right. Uh, <laughs> I'm um, showing my age a little bit here. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so I get on classmates and I see him and I say, hey, how have you been? What have you been up to? I haven't heard from you in a long time. And he called me and he said, he was in Yokosuka, Japan, still in the Navy. And we talked long distance. And then he's, one day he said, I've got to leave. Can you meet me halfway? And I'm like, Halfway, what are you talking about? I mean, you in Japan, what are you talking about? Hawaii. So we met in Hawaii. Maybe, we wait, met wait, in Hawaii. Because <laughs> I know Jared. I love you, Jared. You're so awesome. I appreciate how much you love my girl. He told you to meet him in Hawaii. Meet me in Hawaii. Aloha. So I said, okay. 
So I went to Hawaii, did. and we fell in love all over again, and we got married a year later in Hawaii. That is so. amazing. And I think you guys are just such a beautiful couple. Thank you. Such thank a you. loving, friendly couple. He still drives me crazy couple. Oh, I know. <laughs> it's it's, 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 hard the they all, they all. it's yeah. par for the course. They all. They all. It's par for the course. But we love you men as you are out there listening, so don't work. And we're going to get to the men. Don't think, Michael <laughs> and others, that this is just, a, it's just, it's not just about women. We've no. got some, some conversation and some questions about men that we'll get to shortly. You also work outside of the home. You said that you are a general counsel for an investment an bank. investment bank. I'm chief investment operating bank. officer. Actually, uh, we've seen a lot of I've seen a lot of activity come through LinkedIn because I just and a promotion was announced. So I am now the executive managing director, chief operating officer, and general counsel of an investment bank. That is Sorry. fantastic. Thank you. I'm so proud of you. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> thank you. Thank and you. I just am, am, am honored and blessed to just watch your career and all your success and all these things unfold. Thank you. It's I think been 2018. Fun ride. I think 2018 is your year. But juggling all that has got to be hard. It is. And I know so many women who are out there, who are here, who are out there in the same boat. And these women are incredibly strong. They're incredibly talented. Yep. They've got a lot going on. They are all of these hats, right? Sure. Mothers, daughters, sisters, providers, leaders, mm -hmm. mentors. Yes. And so they often don't have enough time for themselves. That's they spend right. so much time servicing other people mm -hmm. that they often forget about the one person who perhaps matters the most. Yeah. And one thing I tell my kids is that, you know, mom, when mommy's together, right, then everything else seems to fall. And keep the house together. If I'm right. not together, everything exactly. else falls. If mommy gets sick, right. you know what happens. You know what happens when mom gets sick, right? Mm -hmm. Everything mm -hmm. falls apart. That's right. And so, first of all, do any of you feel like you have it all together? Um, no. Yeah. Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> And, and oh, I want me to introduce Robin. Robin, introduce yourself. Robin's on the phone. She's a part of Just for Girlfriends. And she couldn't be here with us in the studio tonight. But I think she is fabulous. She's on the phone. She's joining us. So just say a few words, Robin, about who you are and what you do and your connection to Just for Girlfriends. Sure. I'm Robin McFarland. I am, has been in learning and development. I'm a consultant in that area uh, for a Fortune 500 company currently. And um, you know, I'm part of just for girls because Angel Lee, first of all, Angel Lee and Sherelle are, are my friends. And so, uh, as this before it was just for girls, we were hanging out. Um, and then it became just for girls. So I think, you know, I might not have been the first member, but I certainly was supposed to be in the first member. No, Robin, you were actually our very first paid member. I was, all right. You are. <laughs> Robin, Robin, you are the Harriet Tubman of yes. membership <laughs> for Just For Girlfriends. So we appreciate you being the leader. We appreciate you. We appreciate you. Um, and we, you know, we also appreciate all the men who are checking in. I see you, Hamas, Ronel. Clay, thank you all so much. So we've got a lot of male support. I love just it. for girlfriends. And, and you can always support your female, your that's woman true. in your life, that's your exactly wife, true. your girlfriend, by letting her go out, by and helping her. I think that's family. very important, yeah. no, matter, no matter where you are. Your mother and your sister. And your brother, too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, your mama and your cousin, too. <laughs> right. Me and you. Shout out to Alcat. Um, so, so I want to talk about this perception versus reality when it mm -hmm. comes to having everything all together. Because no. I think whenever you're doing something positive in your life, starting, uh, starting a company, starting a business, running your own business, being an entrepreneur, right? The perception is that you have it all together. And I think a lot of times that's what I just kind of want to dispel a little bit is that, and I don't think anybody really feels like they have it all together. No. Seemingly no, they no. do. I think there is, in, in transparency, and honesty, I think there is strength. Yes. I think seeing, and I think that's part of what Dana being Dana is all about, is is there's ups and downs, there's good and bad, mm -hmm. there's so many things that make us who we are. Right. That's and right. I just want to make sure, because I think you guys are a fantastic group, right? People could be intimidated, like, look at all these fine girls. <laughs> you know? Well, I'm, I'm right there. Wait, wait. I, I'm, not, I'm not a zookeeper, <laughs> so I'm not sure that just for girlfriends is for me. No. And what I want to tell everybody. Absolutely. Yeah. It is. Right. And, and, and I want to just kind of dispel that rumor that you don't have to be a CEO. You don't no, have to be right. a general counsel. Right. No. You don't have to be President of Downers Road, the mayor, right? You sure don't have to be. <laughs> Just for girlfriends is for everybody. Everybody. Just That's for right. girlfriends. 
So, I, and I just think that's important. So, I want you to take us back to the beginning. Sure. Just for Girlfriends has been in motion for ye years, since years ago. Right? Sure, yes. Yeah, years ago. Informally, of a group of my nine closest friends. And I said, you know what? We're all stressed out and we're all going through a lot of things. Why don't we just take time for ourselves? We get together once a month. <clears throat> I would plan activities and then assign months to people. And the group started growing and growing because this friend would bring another friend and this friend would bring another friend. And the next thing you know, we were nine to a group of 70. Now planning for nine is very different from planning for 70 because suddenly restaurants want deposits, you have to put up money. And so some of my girlfriends were like, actually, I don't know about this. Like, I was good when it was nine of us, but I'm not putting my money on the line. And so we would miss months and people would call me and that's when I realized there was a big need. Because people would call me and they say, Angelique, what are we doing next month? Why do we miss next month? Why, what are we doing in January? And so actually Sherelle really encouraged me. She said, Angelique, you're really good at planning because I love parties. <clears throat> I've loved parties from the beginning of time. I love to plan parties. If I could quit being a lawyer, I'd be a party planner. So <clears throat> I said, Sherelle said, there's a need for this. Why don't you turn it into a business? And I kind of hemmed and hawed and I hemmed and hawed. And then I had a really difficult time in my life. So within a nine month spell, I lost my father, my stepfather, my aunt, and my great aunt. And I was in a very, very, the most stressful time in my life. And so on top of that, I was still, like you said, pretending to hold it all together. So I'm increasing in corporate America, things are great, but I'm falling apart in the inside. So I'm having all of these medical issues which I have learned stress will definitely create these medical issues. And they'll all tell you I'm already a hypochondriac. And I will openly admit it. So I'm in the doctor. We've talked about that. We've talked about that before. But stress and your and, and the toxicity in your it life. It will just it will is so important. It's so, so important. important. So I was really going through this hard time and I went to my doctor and I've done my Google research and I knew that I was dying. And I told her. Doctor, I am dying. My ears are ringing. I'm shaking. And she looked at me and she's like, I think you're stressed. And I'm like, okay, you crazy because I got physical symptoms. And I did tell her, I said, I think you need to test me for Lyme disease. <laughs> Lyme disease. <laughs> With no symptoms of Lyme disease. <laughs> oh, yeah. But she of course, said, she obliged and took the money. She, right, she obliged. And she, said, <laughs> she said, I really don't think you have Lyme disease, but it's a simple test. We'll take so, she, We did Lyme disease test. Um, I hope nobody works for the insurance company. We did five scans. <laughs> <laughs> we yeah, I had some I had some MRIs and some things because I was convinced that I was dying. And I went to another doctor because I didn't believe that doctor. I thought she was crazy. She needed to check her books out. So I went to another doctor and the doctor sat me down. He was the sweetest woman, I mean sweetest man, he was the sweetest little man, this little Asian man, and he stopped and he, he crossed his legs and he said, Angelique, you're suffering from stress and anxiety. He said, patients like you, what I would normally tell them to do is to go away from everything for three months. And to Hawaii? To Hawaii. That's right. Go back to Hawaii and get your group back. And, <laughs> but he said, just stop. And he just, it really, it clicked for me for that moment because I said, you know what? If I die, if I'm dead, if I let all of these stressors, whether it's and I love my kids, but just getting them to gymnastics and dance and this and that and education and get straight A's, all of those things, if I let that fall, none of this is gonna be okay. okay. So I stopped and I said, I have to make time for me. But throughout this journey, when I was having all these medical symptoms, I talked to my girlfriends and I said, oh, I'm having this. And I can't tell you how many people have the same thing. Right. Same thing, same exact symptoms, just in different formations and different manifestations. And it, it, resonated with me that we are all going through the same thing. And people that I thought had it together, I thought I was the only, and people would say, Angelique, you have it all together. You, you have this and you're. And I think, just like I said, when it comes to ups and downs, I think life changes you, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You, you, you change jobs, you change, change homes, you change spouses, mm -hmm. you know, you have kids, you mm -hmm. make friends, you lose friends, you have parents, you lose parents, so many things happen to you in your life right and oftentimes it's the self-care that gets lost in yeah. the shop you're busy taking absolutely. care of everything and everybody that you forget to take care of yourself that's absolutely true and you have to take care of yourself and I think that is important um, I mean it's not only just forgetting a lot of people feel guilty about putting themselves before their spouse or their job or their kids yeah. you know? they had to change that mindset 
them. Yeah. That's true. Mm -hmm. And I think there's so many people out there who feel overwhelmed mm -hmm. and who also feel alone. When you are in the shuffle, yes. if you're a stay-at-home mom, particularly I think if you've been in a career path mm -hmm. and you elect or you choose to stay at home, I think that can be very isolating. I think uh, just being your day-to-day -day grind, right? Not feeling like there's other people out there who experience what you do, right. who go through what you do. It's hard yeah. being in your role, in your shoes, in your position. And then you wonder, are you weak because you're not, because you're not handling it? Right. You say, I'm feeling all this, maybe I'm weak. But no, you're not. Right. But it's the good. women on the view just look like they got it all together. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And that's where just for, I don't have time to watch the view. But, but that's where just for girlfriends comes in. That's right. And, and so one of the questions I have for you, you know, is it just for, for, for black women? Is it just for I don't think she's black. Suburban. I think so. I think she's black. <laughs> I think she's the black delegation, the black delegation from last week's race show has claimed Wendy. The white people last week claimed Oprah, so we get Wendy. Oh, okay. uh, wow! But, but is, it, Oprah. is it is it just for is it just for black women? Is it just for suburban women? Is it just no. for professional women? Like, what is what is the demographic? What is the target marketed audience for just for girlfriends? Women. One yeah, women. There you go. <laughs> and the one thing kind of you hit on is that it, all things are going on for all people. The things that you kind of spelled out, it isn't just a particular woman that it's not deal a, with. It's not a black women. woman that's only exactly. Gender, right? so, it's a white woman, it's yeah. a Indian it's a, woman, it's yeah. a whatever. It's a stay-at-home yeah. mom, it's a Working retired life. mom, it's a laid-off mom. It's a, I think it's for everybody. There you right? go. I I think think for we had a holiday party. Our oldest person that came was 68. Get it, girl. And our youngest one Y'all want to shout her out? What's her name? Uh, so that Gloria. G Gloria. Gloria. Yes. Gloria. 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 It's amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. No. Look, yeah, that was Gloria. And our youngest person that was there was about... 20s? twenty. Yeah, late 20s. 20s. Yeah. Late 20s. And, and that's when that was me. <laughs> that is you. The mayor of Devers Grove. The mayor of Devers Grove is 21. Thank you very much. Robin, did you, were you saying something? Did you want to say something? No, no. I'm just uh, I'm chiming in and laughing. But I will add that um, when you're talking about all women and the stress, I have lived in a suburb that was in the city. I've been without a job. I've elected not to have a job and stay home with the kids. And I and I tell this story all the time. I missed out, or I felt as though I had what mother's guilt, right? And um, because I felt like I had to be at home with my children, or I had to be with my husband, and things of that sort. And then I figured out that I was neglecting myself. And for many years, Sherelle would be inviting me to different things and different outings, and and I would decline because I had. Uh, which is it's a, it's, a, it's a common thing, mother's guilt, but it's, it's any time yeah. it gets dismissed. And I learned, you know, as my life was shifting and as my kids, you know, got licensed and they weren't thinking about me anymore, that I need to hang out. And um, and I echo what you guys say, but it's so therapeutic, this group, and I, I appreciate it more and more that I'm now involved, more involved. And by this time, Sherelle is of age, right? Y'all been hanging out for years. She's finally yes. 21 and can, and can have a glass of wine. That's right. That is fantastic. How do you know the story so well? Because I know, I've read your bio on, on, the, on your mayor page. Now, there's a difference when, when it comes to women getting together and, and people connecting. I think there's a difference between a group of women and people who are just polite. Hi, how are you? Great. So nice. I love your hair, it's so fabulous. <laughs> it's not a pro, by the way. I see all y'all out there on, on Facebook. Um, but there's a difference between people who are just polite and yeah. a group that is inviting, that's a group right. that is engaging, yes. a group that is connecting. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's what many people crave right. in this, as, as we get older, right? It's easy to make friends when you're five right, and right. you're playing in the sandbox. But when you're grown, right? I think people have a more difficult time and they struggle to make friends. So what kind of group is just for girlfriends? I think this is a great one for Wendy because Wendy actually is a new, one of our newest members. Oh, yeah. She was not part of the nine. She wasn't part of Girls Night Out. Her first event was our Christmas party December 9th. Yeah. And she I is a member. She, yeah. So she's <laughs> a member. Yeah. So let's yeah. talk about it. So she's the best person to answer like the invitingness of the yeah, group. Yeah, no, definitely. Um, I mean, 
just going into the um, into the Christmas party, um, it was a holiday party. Sorry, um, it was. Uh, I didn't really. The only person I know was Angelique and her mom. And walking in there, I was like, okay, you know, like just gonna go and jump in and you know meet new people. Um, and people just automatically came up to me and were telling, you know, introducing themselves and. You know, it wasn't even like Angelique was like, this is my friend Wendy. You know, it was like, they were all coming to me. Um, and I had a great time. And then I decided that I was going to join um, because it was it was a group of women that were just very inviting and made me feel very comfortable. And I never felt like I was being judged or what are you doing here? We don't know you or anything like that. It was very, very easy. Um, and then went to the second event, which was crazy. crazy. <laughs> it was an ultimate fitness party with yes. uh, fitness trainer Tangie Brewer. So with nice. focus on ultimate. <laughs> yeah. ultimate. Yeah. ultimate. Let me just put this in as, as the white girl on the panel here. <laughs> it was the ultimate black as a hip hop <laughs> workout. And I have no reason. <laughs> Wendy, Wendy, can you twerk? <laughs> I, I cannot, and I believe everybody here can probably say well, no. She I believe in your twerking spirit. Right. Well, love it. Just keep on I being black. Don't right. worry. Yeah. You're I on your way. You will love that. I'll teach you after the show. We'll teach you after the show. Don't you worry. <laughs> so yeah, but I mean, it was it was hilarious. It was fun. I totally felt like I was in Hitch. But um, but yeah, no, it was cool. It was very fun, and it was in you know totally out of my element. Not something that I would you know do on a normal basis by myself. But it was great. It was so much fun. Well, I think this life is about trying things outside of your life. Oh yeah, that's what yeah. I love about you and your courage and your willingness to, to try something different, to try something new. Right. So I think that that's what a lot of people need as we reach this age and stage in our lives. Yeah. I'm going to start with you, Robin, and I would like for the other three, please tell us your your connection. I just want to be specific about we, we, this is the CEO and the founder. She's one of the newer members. Robin, can you tell us? Your connection to Just for Girlfriends and why you became a part of the part of the group. Absolutely. Um, so Sherelle is. Um, so Sherelle is. I call her kind of my, my screen catcher or my. Uh, you know, uh, I teach y'all to do a lot of things that Sherelle does because she's so popular. As the mayor of Downers Grove. As the mayor, <laughs> as a 21 year old mayor of Downers Grove. 21, don't think 21. <laughs> That's important. Yeah, the mayor, 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 governor, and president of Downers Grove. That's right, there so we go. Sherelle has been one of my oldest friends from freshman year of college. And uh, Sherelle and I are, are really good friends, and our families, and our husbands, and kids, and all of that are really great friends. And, um, you know, again, Sherelle has a lot going on, and so she's finally in the thing. And, Lo and behold, I met she was my best friend, this new girl, her name is Angelique, I think you'll like her, and I was like, I was like okay, I guess I'll go with you, Terrell, uh, I'll go. <laughs> right, I guess. I guess. I'll go. I guess. I guess. I'll go. And then, lo and behold, there was Angelique, and uh, we did it off right away. Yeah. And uh, Angelique is very easy and approachable, and we just start talking. You know, as ladies, we all have so much common and things of that sort, and then I think our husbands met somewhere in there somehow. They they get along that sort of thing, and I just start joining the girls' night out, and I want to say that was probably three years ago. And you know, as the Christmas party came, you know, we signed up for a month to to host or to help with some other folks to host a month, and then at that point, it was so I was so looking forward to the events that I could join every month. And it also wasn't like if you missed a month that was a problem or somebody was acting shady because you didn't come or anything like that. It wasn't that way. It was on your own time. Um, it was when you could make it. And everybody was still very excited to see you when you joined, which I loved, which I appreciated because we all, you know, everybody appreciated and understood that we're all very busy. So joined in, and then lo and behold, and the week and I became friends. And I was like, oh, that's great, Cheryl. This worked out. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, would, I will say that Angelique is somebody who is easy to be friends with. Thank you, yes. thank you. It, it comes very easily and naturally. But, you know, Robin said something that's very key, that's like really the key of Just for Girlfriends, this was my mission, is because I'm part of so many groups that if you don't come, everyone's looking at you or you're getting questions, why aren't you here? 
Just for girlfriends is two things. You're supposed to take off all of your hats, your hats of mom, wife. Forget about all that, just have fun. And number two, it's no stress. It's a commercial break from life, and then you get back to your life. If you can't make it, okay. And if you're there, we love it. We're glad to have you. So it's really a no stress thing. And Robin didn't tell the, the real story of when she and I met. Sherelle oh invited us to a dinner, and Sherelle was inviting a new friend that huh. we didn't know. And so what Robin and I later learned. No new friends, no new, new friends. Friend. Don't need no new friends. That's right. <laughs> so what Robin and I didn't know is that Sherelle had told us separately, because we all are very, very silly. She sat me down and said, I got a new friend. Be good now. Don't be acting crazy. <laughs> And then she had told Robin, be good, don't be acting crazy. <laughs> and we get to dinner and Robin and I get to acting crazy. <laughs> right, right, right. We can do that even. Yeah. Uh, you have some other this girls. friend did accept them as they were. Yeah. She's a part of Just for Girls. She's a member as well. A member as well. Yeah, a member as well. Well, Sherrod, do you want to talk about your connection? Yes. So um, the one thing I want to say about um, Just for Girlfriends is that I think Angelique and Robin hit on it. It doesn't feel like another obligation. We kind of talked about tonight that we're all wearing many hats. I look forward to going to the Jason G um, events because it doesn't feel like an obligation. And sometimes when well, we're overcommitted, it could be something fun that you're getting ready to go to and you're like, oh, I don't want to dress up, I don't want to do this, because it feels like an obligation. This does not. You come, I do whatever you want to put on, you know, there are no rules, yeah. no judgment. Mm -hmm. um, and you just have a good time. So, you know, my connection, I obviously mutual friends with Robin and Angelique. And Angelique was just a person that you can have fun with. And we had that set, that thing going of, you know what, it's enough rules in life. You know, we don't need that here. We want to get together and just laugh and have a great time. And I'm all about that. And I am that person that, um, show, show me who you are. I don't, you know, I don't need your three kids. Right. Absolutely. I love a good to see. Yes. Whatever you are, I can deal with it. Seen it all, heard it all, right? So I can deal with it. So that's my connection. Yes. My two cents as the youngest person on the panel. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. I'm the chicken tender on the panel. And I, oh, okay. I, I make no mistake. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm the youngest one tonight. on the panel. <laughs> um, but I believe in authenticity. Yeah. And I, I, I bring it back to Angelique as your CEO and the founder of Just For Girlfriends because she's my friend yes. and, and she's my girl. And I think that, that who you are, make no mistake, trickles down into what Just For Girlfriends is. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't be what it is without you, without your spirit, without your energy, because you set the tone. That like tone from the top, as they say in corporate America. Absolutely, and, and we know all about That's that. Right. And as the mayor said, it's about <laughs> that, that authenticity and, and knowing who you are and that is that is so important and that's why that's one reason why we love you so Michelle hi um Angelique I think is my first friend that I met in Chicago we both um, are from Cincinnati but we didn't know each other and that we was met in 1999 nine, 1999 yeah mm -hmm. so we um immediately hit it off that's that's a common thing you know mm -hmm. and um so when she asked me to help her um, promote Just for Girlfriends, I immediately was very excited about it. And I had been going out with the group a couple of times before Just for Girlfriends was formed. I live in the South Suburbs, so I experienced meeting you know, a lot of new people you know, for the first time, and I have to echo what everyone else has said, but everyone welcomed me with open arms, and. When there was a few months, they didn't see me, and I showed back up. They remembered me and hugged me. It was really a, it feels like you're coming home. So it, it was a really good feeling, yes. Mm -hmm. And so now I am managing um, Just for Girlfriend's social media accounts and um, and having a lot of fun doing it. Yeah. I want to read the mission of Just for Girlfriends, mm -hmm. if I may, because you touched on it before, and I think your sentiments ring true with what the mission says. And it says, that Just for Girlfriends mission is to create an environment for all women to embrace self-care and self-preservation by providing engaging experiences that rejuvenate the mind and soul. Yep. That's it. I, I know it. <laughs> of course you do. And, and I just thought it really resonated with me because I think that that's so true and so universal. To, uh, to everybody who hung out with Angelique and her boo in Hawaii, 
to the people who are here, all to the members. That's right, everybody. I think that's just so important because I think that we as women, and this is something that's important for all women, right? right. Not just, just just for girlfriends, but for everybody. The self-preservation, the self-care, and, and living your life in a, such a way that rejuvenates your mind and your soul. Yes. Because one thing that I find as a mother, and, it, and with all the things that I do, and, and, and a professional person as well, when I take the time to rejuvenate, I come back better. You I'm a better mom, I'm a better lawyer, I'm a better friend, a better daughter, a better sister, the list goes on and on. And I think that that's so important. Is that is that what you all feel coming from Just For Girlfriend events and, and being around other positive, supportive women? Absolutely, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, you, you come away, you, I'm just like you, so if I don't have an outlet where I can just stop and take a break and go take a break from me, then I am grouchy. I'm fussing at my growling at my husband. I'm kids. Where's your homework? You know, what's our big parent? Go to bed. <laughs> I'm sitting here like the bed. But it's 4 30. <laughs> what do you mean, go to bed? You look at me wrong. Go to bed. Right? I love my kids always say, but it's still light out. You're like, daylight savings. Daylight savings time. That's right. You know, I realized I said that too much. My daughter, she probably was two years old, and she is sort of an introvert. So there was a woman. I kept trying to get her to interact. And my daughter at two years old was like, are you ready for baby? But she made all the don't worry. I was saying that a lot, like, if you get my it's time to go to bed. Right. But when right. you can take time for yourself and rejuvenate, and then you come back and you're happy, and it's like, I don't really care if you're messing up. Come here, honey, you know? <laughs> it's just, you have a, you, it brings like you down. It puts the reset button. Yes. Instead yes. of us, you know, you're like, okay, like I just kind of had that outlet, I had that, Time to have fun and not think about all this stuff going on at home and hit the reset button, and now we're going to go on and full laundry. So, one thing we do that's right, go home, go under. Every year we have an annual spot trip. Our spot trip is coming up in April. I hope that you're coming. Spot trip in April. Spot trip in April. We, it's, it was so funny. So, the last time we went, the first, my girlfriend, she says, Oh, we get to run away from home this weekend. Mm -hmm. So we all, it's called our run away from home weekend. So we run away from home and we do a lot of fun things. But when you come back, I will never forget the moment. We were all just sitting in a room and we had a glass of wine and we're all just sitting there. Because at first, the first hour you're still on edge. You're looking at your phone, you think someone's gonna call you. And when you realize they got it at home, you just, you can see the women relax. You can see all the stress and anxiety go away. And we were all just very happy laughing, having fun, playing cards, being silly, listening to music with no obligation, no one was calling, no one was talking, no one was telling us to check emails, no work, it was nothing, just hours of time to do nothing and just hang out with girlfriends. So they run away from home weekend. Run April. away from home weekend. Have you all set the day? April 20th to 21st, that weekend. Okay, okay. write that down everybody, yes. just for girlfriends, run away from, run home, away from weekend. home weekend, <laughs> location to be revealed, stay yes. tuned. Yes. Um, that's awesome. And speaking of the different events that Just For Girlfriends has, I want you all to talk about what your favorite thing about Just For Girlfriends is. And I'll tell you mine. For me, I'm a planner. I have planned out shows all the way to the summer, mm -hmm. stuff for my kids, vacations. I'm a planner. Everybody who knows me well knows that I'm a planner. And one thing that I love, my favorite thing about Just For Girlfriends is the fact that the organization is is something that plans something for you. Correct. So you don't have to plan, which I think is amazing, which I love, is because I'm usually the one like you who plans the events, who plans the parties. And so it's I think it's refreshing to have something to do and someone else has planned it. Yeah. To have someone else has planned it for you. So what what are your favorite things about just for girls? Before they go, a lot of women that come just get a group of their girlfriends and say, hey, we don't have to worry and text about where are we going, what time is the reservation, who's making this. They just come by a ticket and go, and they just get a group. We have tons of groups of girlfriends that just come because it's easy to plan out for you. You hit it, the nail in for me. It's absolutely not having to plan something. I like to just pay and find out this is where I need to be because as we talked about, we get to plan quite a few things. So. That's and planning for a, a city is easy, it's hard. It takes a lot of work. That's exactly right. That's right. That's what you want to ask to do. <laughs> Robin? Yeah, and for me, I, I'm in a, and I'm at a bit of a different stage in my life because I'm a at this point that uh, my, my planning is over and 
so it's not about complaining, it's more about connection. I feel like sometimes I'm working so hard that I'm in, in a work mode or maybe volunteering or doing some, you know, some a family business, things of that sort where I have to be on. And I'm not getting to talk girl talk. And I get to do that with Just for Girls, with all the girls. And that's how approachable the people that come are. I'm just thinking to last year at the spa trip, we had brunch um, for hours, a couple hours. <laughs> we did. So it was, it was to get to connect with people. I mean, you know, I just met them the night before. Man, but we talked about college, and we talked about high school, and we talked about music, and we talked about our husbands, and we talked about work. I mean, just fun things um, that girls talk about and that you need to talk about with girls, I think, is probably most mm -hmm. important. So for me, it's the connection, because I actually, I'm still in the midst of, I kind of miss some of the planning because, you know, my kids have left, you know, the birds have left the nest, at least temporarily, I guess. So the mama oh eagle God. is soaring. <laughs> right, so I, right, so I really like listening to other women, and they're all different range groups, and they have different experiences, and what about this, and what about that, and we did a lot of that last year, and it was just so much fun, and it was, and it was easy. Um, so I appreciate the planning, but I think I appreciate the connections the most. Anybody else? I think what I like most about it is the variety of things that they do. Um, you, you would never get bored. If you came to every event every month, you wouldn't get bored with the activities. They, it's a lot of variety in, in what we do. Just for example, January, like you said, we had the Ultimate Fitness Party. February, we're having a murder mystery dinner and, and a chat about estate planning. I mean, you can't get more diverse than that. Right. Yeah. So what I like to do with Just for Girlfriends is do, in, I call it engaging experiences. I've always liked to throw over the top parties. I throw uh, over the top kid birthday parties. I just, oh, yeah. I just <laughs> you've been there. Oh, she <laughs> started when I had a zoo in my backyard. Yeah, yeah. She was a zookeeper. That's yes. why. <laughs> <laughs> the lawn is going to be really messed up. And <laughs> <laughs> so I try to bring that passion to just for girlfriends. So it's never just going to be we go to dinner. That's not happening. That's boring. We can go to dinner. It's always going to be something extra. So you know our and our goal for the year is to have eleven events. One will always be the holiday party. Holiday party, we give out so many prizes, we give away things. It's a game night, it's just really amazing. And then we have our spa trip, and then of the other nine, we have four that are educational. Bringing things to women that they might not otherwise get, but it's always educational and fun. So our estate planning chat and murder mystery dinner are February, that's an educational one, because remember I'm a hypochondriac and I think I'm a doubt, huh? So I think everybody needs an estate plan tonight, right? <laughs> Does Angelique have her will? Right, stay tuned. <laughs> stay tuned. So I think everybody needs an estate, estate plan. So we're gonna have that over chat, but it's gonna be fun. So we have a murder mystery dinner. Someone's gonna die. It's not gonna be me that night. <laughs> but we'll have a murder mystery dinner and that'll be a lot of fun. And then March, we are doing an improv class at Second City. So yes. come out and get your acting on. So That's going to be fun and laughing. Huge fan. <laughs> Huge fan. Huge fan. Yeah. Of yeah. We're going to do margaritas before and then after for people who want to keep the party going. Like uh, Robin on the phone, because she doesn't have any kids, never wants to go home. So we always stay <laughs> <say, "Well, laughs> <we're> late, <laughs> cool and after, after party at Robin's house. Right. Yeah. So we, uh, we're going to go to a Second City show about girlfriends, actually, that night after that. So it's always going to be kind of over the top. We're doing a photo shoot party this year for everybody who wants to feel pretty. We have makeup artists, DJ, photographer, hair, hairstylist. hairstylist. Veronica's here. She did my hair today. We'll talk more about that in a minute. Um, that's, yeah. that's fantastic. So w with all these, Veronica's here. Yes, Veronica. <laughs> this is my girl. I love you, Veronica. You're I'm awesome. Guessing. And um, she is a sponsor and a, and a big supporter. She is the stylist of Dana Bandana. And we just appreciate you being here tonight. What is your favorite Just For Girlfriends events? You've talked about so many different fabulous ones. Can you pick a favorite one that resonates? I know Wendy's is yeah. when she was twerking. That's a good one. I don't know about that. It was fun. Of course, it's the opportunity to run away. What's your run away? The spa. Oh, the run away trip. The opportunity to run away and not be on the milk carton. I love how y'all call it a run away. Oh, no. Well, my, time yet. my funniest story was there were a couple women that were like, 
can we leave tonight? Well, I'm like, well, tomorrow at 11 a.m. you can go in to the hotel room. But they were like, we want to leave now. Yeah, they were trying to yeah. leave on Thursday night. Yeah. So, yeah, so for me, that's my favorite because you get the opportunity to be away for a couple of days and to really rejuvenate. And again, the fact that, you know, if there are things planned, but if you choose not to do that, you can do it the way you want to do it. No right. obligation. What about you, Robin? Um, you know, I, I just enjoy being out. So I, I could probably say no. that the, um, no. the roller skating <laughs> is probably one of my favorite. Like the spa. The skating? The, you the said the roller skating. The, oh, yeah, the roller, roller skating. skating. <laughs> roller skating was so much fun. I had done it so long. Mm -hmm. And I really thought I was right, 16 again and fell. And after the pool, all the rage and, um, and hurt myself. But it was fabulous. I and uh, we bag skated and partner skated. It was just a good time. I think that was that was one of my favorite ones, just because it was something I wouldn't plan for myself, and I hadn't done it in so long, and I thought it was a great idea. So I think that's probably one of my favorites. So during the roller skating, I have a quick funny story. So we're one of the people who planned it. Actually, she's a doctor. She's an OB guy. And while we're roller skating, someone falls, and they, I mean, the, the stops, they got to call an ambulance for this guy. So we all say he's, like, completely shattered his arm. So we're, like, we're telling the doctor, doctor, you need to go out there. You need to help. You need to help. She said, unless he's having a baby, y'all, I can tell him he's going to go to the hospital. <laughs> and we're all cracking up because the remember she sure did. Because you think, again, that goes back to thinking women all have it together. You can do everything. But you don't. Like, right. If you're an Obigani, you cannot fix an arm. So, yeah, right. That's exactly right. And she was very clear that she was not fixing an arm. Nor should you fix an arm. Speaking, speaking of men, how have men supported Just for Girlfriends? Well, for mine, babysitting and taking care of the home so that I can get away and not have to worry about, you know, did they do the homework? Did they go to bed on time? I think that's a, a great support. And you know what? That's a great question, man, because I never have thought about how my husband has supported it. And he has not had any problems with it. I mean, it's like, what are you doing? What, what are y'all doing? What time are you supposed to be there? So I guess because it looks as if it's something that makes me feel good, yes. he yeah. bought in. And that he gets behind it. You yeah. know, I think I never thought about that. There, there, there are men who support Dana being Dana. And I've had just great friends boyfriend, other people who jump in and support the show, which is so important to me. Right. Um, the first comments and the first people on Dana Being Dana were men. It yeah. wasn't girlfriends. And so I think it's so important to buy into your cause, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. yeah. You couldn't do this without Jerry. Sure couldn't. And his fabulous barbecue yeah. being served up at the murder mystery party. That's right. Jerry Q. We have a catering company as well. So which is fantastic. Does, and and I think barbecue. the support of men helping, you know, supporting you, doing what you do, even just keeping the kids, which is huge, mm -hmm. and holding it down while you do your thing yeah, you know, is keep, paramount. Two, key, two things there that that reminds me of is our DJ at the holiday party. After seeing all the women have fun and just, he he invited his girlfriend to come. So he was so supportive, he enjoyed what we were doing, liked the mission, and said, you know, can I invite my girlfriend? I think she would really like this. I said, you can invite her, you can buy her a membership, you should absolutely bring her along. So I, I think that it's really key. Here's another one that you might not have thought of, is the kids supporting the mission. So my daughter, my seven-year-old, and I didn't know how to feel about this because I was like, ooh, maybe I've been acting like it's too much fun away from you guys. But she <laughs> she comes to me one day, my seven-year-old, and says, I need your business card. And I said, why do you need my business card? She said, I want to give it to my teacher. And I said, what? She's like, I told her. She said, she's in second grade. She said, I told my teacher about Just for Girlfriends because, you know, I think she's stressed out because she has two kids, and we're a handful. <laughs> and our class is a handful. And I said, you told her about it? And she said, yeah, I told her about it, so I want to give her the card. So I said, well, this is a little creepy. My daughter's kind of selling just for girlfriends. So I, I didn't give her a card, but I later was volunteering in class, and I said, did my daughter tell you? She said, yeah, what is it? So I told her about it. She's like, that sounds awesome. And so our teacher is coming. So today she said, aren't you going to be on that show? My daughter. And I said, yeah. She said, give me your cup. Give me your, give me a cup. I want to take it to my teacher. No. So now I was like, here, take your cup. Just go ahead and give your teacher's 
stop. So my daughter, my seven-year-old is supporting because I think, back to your first question, when I go and do this, I'm a happier mom yes. when I come back. Yeah. Yeah. She wants her teacher to be happy. Yes. <laughs> and I think, I mean, that to me, that is such a theme, which I think about because I'm a, I'm a mother of a daughter as well. And just yeah. the impact and the influence that you're making. Because I, and I always say this kids are watching. They are. Kids are watching what you do, Absolutely. what you say. If they drop an F bomb, they got it from you. That's right. And so it's so important. I always, I'm very conscious of the example that I'm setting yeah. for my kids. Mm -hmm. And I think you're setting such a great example for your daughters, for your kids, yeah. about how to live your life. Yeah. Because I think too often people get mass consumed about how life happens to them mm -hmm. versus standing up and, and controlling their own life and making life happen. You said it, Mayor, making life happen. And I think that that's so incredibly important. So I think your daughter is very fortunate to have you as a mom and all of you because they get to see you right. living life. You're a mom, you have a career, you're doing things in the home, outside the home, but you're also living your life and you're having a good time. And I think that underscores the mission of right. Just for Girlfriends and what it's all about. So I love these themes of collaboration, women supporting women, um, a group being inviting versus a group being polite. Um, we have women sponsors for tonight's show, and we'll get to them just shortly because I think they've got they've got some benefits and some, and some specials in their support of Dana being Dana. But I think it all underscores this women supporting women collaboration theme that, that I'm talking about. And so um, before we wrap it up, I just want to talk about um, one question I have for you guys is how important is it to say no? Hmm. Yeah. Very important. Yeah. Yeah. Very important to say no. I think a lot of times if you over commit, you under deliver. So it's extremely important to learn how to say no. And I think that's hard for women to do. Okay. It's definitely easier said than done. You know, if someone asks you for something, we're just we're caretakers, so we're gonna try to squeeze it in. But you're right, can't do it all. No. Yeah, and I mean, you just you have to, or, I mean, if you think about all of the facets of life that we have, at points you have to say no, or you, your plate runneth over. And so what I do for my, my husband, your, your, your plate, your plate, your plate <laughs> runneth over. So my husband, we have, we stay in our lane. So we've got Jerry's department and Angelique's department. So there are things, and if someone asks me, that's not my department, I don't know anything about the grass. The inside of I don't know anything about that. We can't help you. I can't well, we'll transfer you. you. I'll transfer please you. Please Yes, please right. hold. And it's important to be able to say no. And so what what I what we also do is we separate who's responsible for certain kids' activities. One Girl Scout troop, I know nothing about that. That's his. Because I had to learn to let go. Or otherwise I just I couldn't do it all. And that's a very important lesson for busy women who are great candidates to be members for Just for Girlfriends is, yes. is learning how to say no. Um, what what boundaries do you set? Is anybody willing to share any boundaries that you set for yourself? Hmm, that's a good question. Hmm. I guess we're working on. We're all working on boundaries. <laughs> we're all working on boundaries. We're all working on boundaries. I try to make it a point because I work from home. A lot of people know I work from home, uh, and so it's easy for work and personal life to bleed into each other. I come home from show day and get to work before I go to bed. And I'm trying to set better boundaries about when I'm at work, even if I'm at home, mm -hmm. I'm at work. And when I'm at home, I'm at home. And that's being well. engaged and not being pulled into work. Uh, and that's, it's, it's a work in progress mm -hmm. because it can be very tempting, especially when you're in your pajamas working so, yeah, to, to really be focused and engaged in one place. You know, this past year, 2017, I turned 40. But on the way to 40, even though I know I look like I'm 22, just not. Lord I'm younger than Angelique. <laughs> I'm younger than Angelique. <laughs> I just, I, and I will admit, I, I just turned 40. But as, uh, when I was on my, I call it a road to 40. And this is kind of also what got me to go ahead and watch Just for Girlfriends. Is I decided that in from the time I was 39 to 40, I was on my road to 40. And I wanted to be spiritually, mentally, and physically in the best place I could be ever in my life. And so I started taking yoga. I stopped worrying about dying. I did a lot of different things. <laughs> <laughs> I talked a lot. I'm sure. I'm I'm sure. sure. I'm Stay sure. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> and Angela, y'all. That's why we 
She's gonna be here tomorrow. Right. So we're gonna stay we're gonna be here tomorrow. So you know, I took that journey to really get to where I am today, but part of that was boundaries. And my big boundary is not doing things I don't want to do. Right. I would do so many things that I didn't want to do because I just needed to do it. And now I don't. I say no. I and sometimes you gotta push people out of your life that you don't think are good in your life. And it's hard because you don't want to hurt their feelings. But it's necessary. But it's necessary for you. It's necessary for your self-preservation and self-care. And sometimes for them it's necessary. But sometimes it's a codependency that's been formed that's not healthy for either. Yes. So what can we expect from Just for Girlfriends in 2018? Fun. Lots of fun. Fun. Say that again, Mayor. Just like that. Fun. Fun. (laughs) Yes. No. Yes. Laughter. Fun. Excitement. We are doing so many things. We have the whole year planned out already. It's, I just, I'm so excited about the events. I think you you won't have a moment where you're not laughing. I think you'll experience a lot of growth too, you know. That's, that's you, you'll learn some things about yourself that you didn't know, um, a lot of positive things being reinforced. So, yeah, look for growth. For new friends. Oh, we love you. <laughs> yeah, that's that's so sweet. Sweet. You talked a lot about kids, being moms, being wives. It's for everyone. So if you're not in those, the spaces we've mentioned, doesn't mean it's not for you. It's for everyone. I think the key thing we talked about is the collaboration between women. Yeah. yeah. Well, so it's just here. it's a very easy way to be able to go out and do something socially and fun and like with these great women that are so inviting and and. Um, and you don't really even have to really, you know, it's to so easy to see, say, we need to get together, we need to get together, but you just don't, you don't ever do it. So, so Robin, what were you saying? Robin? No, I was, just, I, I was just echoing what they say. And I also think, you know, sometimes we want to get together and, you know, it's got to be networking or it's got to be work related. And just as we've been saying all night, that having fun is probably the best medicine. Uh, the best stress reliever, being around approachable people, you, it's priceless. And I, I think we discount it too much, mm-hmm. but just for girls can, uh, can help cure that. And I, I also like to add that when I go to work or have my husband, my mom, I can tell a story about Cheryl, my mother, who wants to now come to just for girls and stuff, and I won't let my mother come, but um, <laughs> she's coming. <laughs> they're just right. Um, <laughs> they're jealous. When I Did you buy me or what? But now we have an opportunity to just for girlfriends and, and you know, the, the way that it's organized, where you just write and things of that sort, where I can just pour things on. But I go in telling these great stories and uh, how we laughed and how we had so much fun that, um, you know, you're missing out if you don't come. I, I think that's right. And just like Essence Magazine, you miss you. So I think yeah. you, can, you, can, you can check out Just for Girlfriends. You'll see Angelique and all these ladies will be tagged or tagged in the video. Thank you all so much for being here. Thank I you for having us. I, I appreciate you guys. Um, it's been great. I want to thank my sponsors. First of all, I want to thank Veronica, who is responsible for my afro. Um, this is my Whitney Houston look. I love it. You're amazing. You're fabulous. I love you. So thank you so much. This is not a fro. It's, <laughs> it's not. curls. It's curls, not a fro. Um, but I also want to thank my sponsors, all women tonight. Uh, Hidden Treasures Boutique, my girl Bobby. She's out here dressing the women for to roam for love. Shay and Nikita, who are out here slaying in these streets with their new hit Bravo show. Uh, Hidden Treasures Boutique, www.shophiddentreasuresboutique.com. 25% off using the code DANA25 through the end of the month. So please check them out. Great fashions. I've been wearing some of their stuff. It is fantastic. You'll love it. And very affordable prices. Also, coming up next week, my next two sponsors will be here in studio. Um, uh, Cynthia from Direct Sellers, they're offering a special of four bottles for $50. Their website, her website is www.directsellers.com slash Cynthia A. And all this is posted on my, on my timeline, so you can check them out. Direct Sellers has fabulous wine. They sponsored the wine here tonight. They'll be sponsoring the wine here uh, next week. Please check them out. Tune in next week and you will see Cynthia. We'll be talking to her as well. And and finally, my girlfriend Ramona, who is a chocolatier from My Chocolate Soul. They specialize in amazing 
all natural chocolates. Uh, using the code Dana Radio will get you 15% off. Have you gotten your Valentine's Day gift yet? I don't think so. So you need to go to www.mychocolatesold.com. Their address is 4442 North Broadway in the city. Uh, check, check her out. Her chocolate is fantastic. She will be here again next week. Uh, the next week's show, it's called Sweet Ladies. Sweet Ladies will be in the building. My wine girl, my chocolate girl, we are going to have a good time talking about wine and chocolate, life, politics, and all other topics. I have some of the sweetest friends. Angelique's here. I just appreciate having all my friends here. Spreading love is a big thing that's important to me. Women supporting women, collaborating. So I just appreciate you all being here. I appreciate the sisterhood. It will continue next week. You are watching Dana Being Dana on intellectualradio.com. Thank you.